And I also watched the Trailer Park Boys. I'm very embarrassed to state to say that, but I I've also quite addicted to the Trailer Park Boys, and that's that's I don't I don't know what to say about that, but. Um, I, I think that Bubbles is one of the most remarkable comedic characters that Canadian comics have ever developed. And I think, think the same thing about Ricky. I really think the show is a profane and, and distasteful work of genius. And uh, it's a guilty pleasure. So I guess those are my spiritual practices, <laughs> watching The Simpsons and the Trailer Park Boys. He was there when it counted. And that stopped that show from degenerating into cynicism. And I also think the same about the Trailer Park Boys, which is a show that I have a fair bit of partiality for, despite its its endless profanity and 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 absurdity. It has the same underlying structure: is that the characters are bound together by genuine affection, and there's something about that 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 makes the satirical message um, both positive and deeply acceptable, as far as I'm concerned. So. I know, lots of laughs. Jordan watches Trailer Park Boys. I don't just watch it, I really like it. it. I really get a kick out of it. I don't know how many of you are Trailer Park Boys aficionados. Probably not that many because it is a pretty rough show. But um, the Conky episode, that's got to be one of the, the high, that's one of the highest, that's the, the highest reach of Canadian comedy as far as I'm concerned. That episode just absolutely floored me. It was so, it was so surreal and so absurd that... Um, I thought it was just a big fan. Um, I saw in one of your Q&As, and I hope this isn't too unrelated, but it probably will be. Um, keep it my heart. Um, you said that you're a big fan of a guilty pleasure for Trailer Park Boys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm curious if you could give a brief sort of archetypal psychological analysis. <laughs> of who you said is one of your favorite characters. And maybe to tie back to free speech, how um, a show that is so crude and offensive manages to be maybe the most popular Canadian show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are many reasons why my wife hates me. <laughs> but he's here. He's here. He just doesn't hate me with nothing not to come. But the Trailer Park Boys is definitely one of the reasons why she Um, why do I like it? Well, I'm from Northern Alberta. Um, I, I don't know if you know the movie, um, Fubar? You guys know that? Well, I like Fubar. It's actually about the people that I grew up with, roughly speaking, and perhaps even about me to some degree. I uh, watched Fubar, I don't know, probably eight years ago with a couple of my old friends from Northern Alberta, and like we were hysterical to the point of comatose watching it. You know, ah, there's something about it. I like working class guys. I think they're funny. They have great senses of humor, and something I really miss. I mean, one of the ways that working class guys compete is through absurdity. And I worked in pizza restaurants, I worked in lots of rough places, you know, like rail crews and that sort of thing. And what keeps guys alive in situations like that is their absurd sense of humor. And the Trailer Park Boys is a great example of that. I think it's hilarious that the Canadian government funds it. <laughs> And what I also like about the Trailer Park Boys, and this is also what I like about The Simpsons, is that it's, it's absolutely reprehensible in all of its details, except for its container. And so The Simpsons, the family is central to The Simpsons, right? No matter what you say about Homer, it's like he loves his family, he'll do anything for his family, and fundamentally they're oriented towards each other. And so it's always a comedy, because they're aiming up. And so that, that's, what gives, that's what makes The Simpsons just not mean-spirited. It's not mean-spirited. It's great satire. Everyone's in on the joke. And the characters are, are essentially moral. And it's the same, to a somewhat less degree, with the Trailer Park Boys. It's like, because the story is, when it's working, the story is about two things. It's about impulsive male stupidity. <laughs> But it's also about friendship. And it really is about friendship. Even the enemies are friends. And so the creators of that have done this remarkable job of walking the line between satirical, like English comedians. It's great satire, but they have they love their characters. They have love for their characters, even though they're completely reprehensible, right? Um, 
So that's part of why I like the trailer park boys. I always rate those comedians. I think they're unbelievably funny because you watch it and it does have this documentary like aspect. But it's easy to believe, like most of the fans do believe, that these are real people. <laughs> and they're not. They're making this stuff up. <laughs> they're great at it. The Conky episode, man, that just. <laughs> that's high art, isn't it? <laughs>